How's it going, everyone? This is Just Lord at Just Lord Gaming. Uh, make sure you to hit me with that like and that subscribe to start our day off. Today I'm doing my uh, my favorite retro uh, multiplayer games of all time. So uh, this is my list. I mean, if anybody got any that are uh, they have, um, leave it in the comments. You know, we could talk about it. <clears throat> So I'm going to start it off with a game called, I remember my friend Jermaine had this, this uh, was Poi Poi on the original PlayStation, PS1, and we used to get this in at his house right here. This was a good uh, multiplayer game. Um, I think Konami released this one. Uh, they definitely had uh, some good chops back in the days without making mul multiplayer games. The object of the game was just to pick these things up, throw them. You would get bombs, you could make them get bigger for a bigger explosion. It was just a chaotic uh, multiplayer game. If you never played Poi Poi, definitely pick that up. Uh, my, my second game is definitely uh, my favorite Mario Party, which would be Mario Party 4. This one got a little bit of everything for everyone. Uh, this is the one I like with the best, to me, the, the best games in the series is on here. Um, I like five, but four is definitely my um, favorite. I mean, any game that got basketball is uh, definitely going to be my number one, <laughs> especially if it plays good. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, Mario Party 4. Get you four friends. Play this, man. It's classic right here. A lot better than the newer ones that they came out with. Uh, if you go back and play the classics so yeah uh, pick up that mario party 4 if you never played it uh get four friends um here i go i got uh my next game is a uh, wwf no mercy this was our wrestling game back in the days it still is the wrestling game i like the newer ones are okay uh you I mean this general the last one they came out with the new wwe wasn't too bad <clears throat> but i'm um, still it's never i'm never gonna get that feeling like when you play no mercy you know, we used to play this all the time. Four-player action, definitely one of our great games. And this is definitely when our WWE, WWF, whatever you want to call it, was definitely on top, that on top of the wrestling world at this time. Uh, definitely a good game. No mercy, pick that up. Um, my number. Then we go with another. My next one is Mario Kart 64. <clears throat> Probably one of my favorite Mario Karts. Definitely 64. I mean, that's depth for the, the battle mode alone is still the best battle mode I've played in the Mario Kart game. Um, nothing tops this right here. I used to love that, like, pillar, that fort. Forgot what the name of the level was, but that fort board where you uh, could just go to the top of the level and just start raining down red shells. Uh, another great uh, game right here. Um, still haven't met a Mario Kart that, um, that tops this one on battle mode. Uh, maybe on level design with a single player, maybe there, I'll go with another Mario Kart, but uh, for battle mode, yeah, this was the four player game right here for me. Uh, there was definitely another game, this wasn't four players, but it was three, and we uh, had three people when we beat this. Uh, this was a good game right here, definitely one of those uh, you didn't think Squared could do. Um, anything but the turn-based side, but they showed you that they can make an action-adventure game with a story and with great gameplay right here. I mean, I remember we used to play this uh, a lot <laughs> back in the day. Uh, but yeah, this was a good game right here. Definitely one with some great music too, uh, Secret of Mana. Uh, pick that up if you haven't played it. Um, and then I got, a, oh yeah, another gem right here. Snowboard Kids 2, definitely one of the great ones right here. Um, I definitely like this one, uh, definitely on emulation because you get a crisper looking game. Definitely uh, the graphics is much better during that with uh, emulation, but if you got yourself an N64 lying around and can get you one of these, uh, yeah, go get this right here. Uh, never forget those uh, battles at the end of the stage when you're trying to get on the ski lift <laughs> and everybody crammed and crashing and trying to get on to get in the left so yeah definitely one of the uh, better four player games on the nintendo 64 snowball kids 2 definitely pick that up and if you didn't get that get the first one still a classic uh definitely right here this was my childhood right here uh we had this in the pizzeria uh uh that's like down the block street for me and uh we used to buy uh, i'm about 
I remember that exact amount of money it took me to beat this game, which was five dollars and quarter. So, uh, and that took me to beat this one right here. But definitely another one right here. They're about to give you the uh, collection, so you'll be able to get that pretty soon. <clears throat> Since this one is really hasn't been released on anything, but definitely get that uh, Turtles in Time with the four plays. Um, here we go, another four player great right here, Sunset Riders. Uh, Konami need to release a, um, actually a collection of their their best four player games in which they would have just throw X-Men, Simpsons, Sunset Riders, and a lot of the other games that they put on here. Bucky O'Hare, they got a lot. Uh, definitely a four players. Um, they had another one with the ninjas, I remember. I, I think it was Ninja Warrior. Um, they definitely had a, a lot of uh, good four player games. And I believe uh, definitely G.I. Joe was in there too. But uh, pick that up, Sunset Riders, if you get a chance. Um, NBA Jam, there ain't nothing you can say. Hey, we done through years of quarters into this game right here, playing this in the arcade. Uh, <coughs> I mean, did, I, we had uh, the damn record <laughs> in this game. So we can come back, play, know how many wins you had, know how many losses you had. This was great to have in the arcade, especially, you know, with your friends, you just go around and just play that uh, NBA Jam, another classic. Um, let me see, my next game right, would be Run and Gun, right? This was uh, another classic right here. Uh, Run and Gun, they had this at my local bowling alley next to uh, the old Yankee Stadium. Uh, if anybody lives in the Bronx, they know what I'm talking about. In that era, we used to, me and my friends used to go and just to play this and get a game of bowling on. But um, yeah, this was one of the games that was there and we used to play this a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I think that we used to come back because at that time, it was the best basketball graphics we seen. Like, dad, I wish they brought this home. We used to be uh, so uh, ready to have this game. But definitely another great one right there, that uh, run and gun. And then we have Smash Brothers, another classic right here, uh, Smash Brothers Melee. You can't go wrong with Smash Brothers Melee, and uh, this to me still, I would say this is still my favorite Smash Brothers because it's the one I spent the most time, time on and played um, to perfect my gaming skills right here. And I feel like they, with the newest Smashes, they took a lot of the moves that were powerful and made them not as powerful in newer and the newer versions but um this was the one right here smash brothers melee i mean you everyone's gonna still you know tell you that, that it, that's definitely the best smash and i i'll tell you that that to me that's still the best smash um another one i remember we had this uh, my friend jermaine first brought this to the house um it was in being live I mean, I got so good at NBA Live, I remember I beat my cousin by like 100 points and he was like, we can't, we not playing you no more in that game. <laughs> so I got banned from NBA Live because I played it too much <laughs> for my cousins and my brothers. I mean, but uh, yeah, this was this was a good game right here. NBA Live, if you ain't play this, uh, go pick it up. I mean, it might not look like today's basketball, <laughs> but that was my game back in the day. Alright, uh, let me see. My next game, I got Super Bomber Man, another game with the multi tap on the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, we love this game. Me and my brothers, we used to play this all the time. Uh, we don't go away. Bomber Man is still one of our favorite multiplayer games to play today, but uh, to me, still, this is the best one that I've played. I mean, that I feel like it's even. And it's no cheating because I didn't like the bomber man. But you start riding on the, the um, little animals, the kangaroos, and stuff like that. Felt like they were doing too much when they did move to that. And that's when I really stopped playing it as often as. But I still always go back to playing the original Super Bomber Man. Definitely a classic. Um, another one right here, uh, the Zelda Four Swords. Another great four-player game. <clears throat> as you saw in my top ten Super Nintendo um, GameCube games. This is definitely one of them. Uh, to play this four players, you actually needed uh, three Game Boy uh, Advances. I, I mean, we, I had that at um, <laughs> to play this. I remember I, I was scouring, looking for Game Boy Advances for a low, and I bought like three at a pawn shop. And then um, I had the link cables, and we now finally got to play this four players. Another great game. Uh, definite classic uh, Four Swords. Let me see my next game. 
feel like who this is a who's who everybody's done played Golden Eye. I remember I bought this uh what I did it was it with this and Star Fox? Maybe I bought this at the, at the same time. I bought this and Star Fox. And this is still a great shooter to me. I would even go back and play it. Uh, I ain't played it in years, but I, I would definitely go back and play, play it, play it through. Um, again, one of the still one of my favorite games with the hit detection. I always like that about this game uh, that the enemies had hit detection, and you know you don't see a lot of that still in today's game. Uh, but uh, you know, that's I guess that's the way it is. And then we go with I have uh, Wii Sports Resort here. Another great game um, that we done put countless hours into. Done played this with damn guys, girls, whatever you want to call it. Done played this with everybody. Uh, still one we still pull out today. Still play that uh, basketball. Uh, we might not play the other games, but I definitely know the bowling and the basketball is always one that we always go back to play. And the tennis, we still play that too. Uh, I, don't, I won't say we play all the other games, but we definitely play those three non-stop all the time. Another great one, Wii Sports, get you that Wii Sports Resort. Can't go wrong with that. Great, great game. Uh, another four-player juggernaut right here. This was on the Dreamcast, uh, my Power Stones too. Uh, what can you say about this? This is another great game. Uh, got a little bit of everything for everybody, uh, whether that being levels, uh, it, could, I could, it could stand to use some more levels, but with the levels that were there at the time, uh, still great. And plus, this was an arcade game as well, so you know, back in there, you ain't gonna get as many levels. I mean, they could have upgraded it when they bought it home, but uh, it is what it is. Um, this is still one I'm looking for to come out online someday. Uh, still been years we've been waiting. We still haven't got it, uh, but maybe one day. And then here we got Virtual Tennis. I believe this is my last game right here. Another one. Well, we did everything with this game. Uh, bet money. Whatever you want with Virtual Tennis. This was a classic right here in my house. And I'm sure all the people's houses who ever played Virtual Tennis. This was a classic right here. This is to get the juices flowing with your friends. Argument started. Uh, so but another great game right here. Uh, so just make sure you hit me with those likes and subscribes. And you know, and I'll get back with the next video soon. I don't know what the next one's gonna be, but I'll come up with something. Um, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all.